I started in community corrections and in those days we had mixed caseloads. So I did youth, which we probably called juvenile at that time. I did adult probation, the youth probation, adult probation, parole, family court counseling, and we were um, involved in our communities. For example, when I started, I helped establish programs in the community, the Boys and Girls Club in Port Coquitlam is a good example. We were expected to spend 3% of our time doing preventative work, and that's the nature that it took. In 1973, so it was a bit of time, I was in the branch from 68, I became the senior probation officer in New Westminster. I then went on to a supervisory position, but by then we had specialized. So we had teams in the same region for youth and for adult. And youth had family court counselors, part of it. At that time, I was supervising all the youth uh, probation officers in the Fraser region. From that position I went to be the district director which is now called the warden, sorry, the director which is now called the warden of Twin Maples Correctional Center. Running a female, it was considered open custody center, was uh, quite the challenge especially since it wasn't a farm setting. The amount of inmate work that occurred there was mind-blowing. For the record, we had cattle, we had hogs, which we grew for the food services uh, contract. We did uh, eggs, 1,500 eggs a day. We gave the eggs to uh, all the jails for their use. We did fryers. Every six weeks we had a turnover of close to 1,500 fryers. And we had the tailor shop where we made all the inmate clothing and the aprons for the branch. It was a fascinating experience. Um, we had federal inmates there and we had a child care program there run by inmates and inmates were allowed to keep their children. I had intended to go to Twin Maples to be there when it closed because we were in the process of opening Burnaby Correctional Center for Women. Unfortunately, there were other plans for me, and they moved me to uh, Burnaby Ocala Women's Unit. When I was there, I was asked to develop the programs for the Burnaby Correctional Center for Women. The building had already been built, and it was truly program-oriented. I couldn't have been happier. John Pastrick had already developed some programs and I helped set up the other programs there. That center held women from the federal system. We had an agreement with the feds and we brought home all the women who had committed their offenses in BC or who had a link to BC. Just to tell you a small story, when I was working in probation, we used to have community service officers and we had the most delightful and energetic community service officer imaginable. And she had uh, youth who had to do community work service. And it was at the time of Terry Fox running across Canada. And we were located in Port Coquitlam. That was his hometown. Well, our community service officer decided that maybe we should do some fundraising for Terry Fox. This was pretty creative because although he was doing his run and people individually were doing things, uh, we really didn't know of those kinds of initiatives in those days. So I phoned up the powers that be and we managed to get the old beer wagon from Ocala and a couple Clydesdales and we decided to hold a fundraiser on the Saturday morning with probationers, uh, with the Clydesdales, and our theme was fill the wagon for Terry Fox. Little did we know that Terry announced that night on television that he could no longer do his run because the cancer had come back. 
We showed up at the Westwood Shopping Center with our horses and our shovels and a bunch of probationers. Uh, we had got a, a whole number of those um, rolls to put our quarters and pennies and dimes in because we thought that's what we would be gathering. To our amazement, people were throwing bills at us, 20s, 5s, $2, $1. It was truly amazing. That made my experience in corrections even richer. It wasn't until years later, when we had a reunion of the Coquitlam office, that someone asked, I wonder if we got all the money that was donated. I said, what do you mean? Well, do you think any of our probationers might have kept some? Never even entered our mind. The other highlight of my career was uh, when we started to work on the uh, Burnaby Correctional Centre for Women, a federal document came out called Creating Choices. And it opened my eyes to the issues female offenders experienced. Whether they were different than men or not wasn't the issue. The issue was we had a formula that we could base our vision and mission at Burnaby Correctional Centre for Women on. I had a, a spectacular time working programs with the focus that Burnaby Correctional Centre could be the start for female offenders, an opportunity for them to begin a healing process, not only physical, but mental. There was a lot of conflict with some organizations. Um, I was not Elizabeth Fry's favorite person, but I truly felt that that document and its foundation and its realization that female offenders should be managed in a certain way. I think when we started, back in 68, we were trusted agents. We had to have degrees in those days and social workers didn't, so we even got more money than a social worker did. We had supervisors who were responsible for the quality and the volume of our work, but our decisions were our decisions. 